Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you for a album review again. Um, this is the fourth album out of the five that I'm reviewing. The next album review is going to be for an artist I didn't want to review, but I'm going to check it out anyway because I didn't hate the first single that he released, which was for the Travis Scott Utopia that I'll be reviewing next. This one is for Carly Rae Jepsen, The Loveliest Time that I got a chance to check out and listen to and I'm going to give you my thoughts on this album for all 13 songs I listened to so I'm going to discuss what I listened to for this 13 track album for Carly Rae Jepsen, The Loveliest Time this is like the sequel to The Loneliest Time and let you know my thoughts on it so let's dive into this uh, album review now the last album she made like I said was The Loneliest Time I didn't really listen to it but when I listened to this album, I was very disappointed. I think this is a bad album, honestly. Anything to be with you was cringe. The vocals from Carly Rae Jepsen, I just can't get on board with. It just doesn't sound good in my opinion. Sorry, that's my brother-in-law and um, my nephew. They're just uh, acting crazy right now they're just playing with each other <laughs> not in a weird way just you know uh, never mind what I said it just yeah they're uh, Liam's my nephew and my brother-in-law that's his daddy of course <laughs> so basically uh, yeah that's my nephew's name if you were wondering um anything to be with you getting back on track to the review Disappointing song. I hated it. I didn't like how it sounded and how Carly Rae Jepsen's vocals were in it. it just sounded god awful. So two out of five. Kamikaze is okay. Not anything great. There's a lot of very bad songs on this album, to be honest. Um, just so you know. But there's a few that are okay. But this album really tanked big time in a bad way. So. Three out of five for Kamikaze. I think it's okay for what it went for, but I just not on board with Carly Rae Jepsen's vocals from time to time. There are some vocal pitches she does that's all right, but other than that, the song is meh. After last night, I didn't like her vocals. The song was disappointing. Um, it just sounds so cringy and gubble, bubblegum pop shit, and I'm just not on board with it. So 2.5 out of 5. I mean, the melody just kind of corny, and just Carly Rae Jepsen's vocals not feeling for it. Uh, Aeroplanes, disappointing track two, not really on board with it. Just with her vocals, it just, I don't see any good qualities about her vocals in this. It just sounds corny. It's a 2.5 out of 5. Shy Boy is a bad song. I was disappointed with it. It just sounds annoying and disappointing. It's just, I was trying to like a certain section in it, but then it just disappointed me as the rest of the track played out. So 2.5 out of 5. Collage, and just so you know, Shy Boy was the first single for this album. And good thing she didn't release any more, because with this final product, this is not good. <laughs> so, uh, Collage is a disappointing song too. I'm just kind of bummed out with this track and bored and disappointed so 2.5 out of 5 it's just Carly Rae Jepsen's vocals don't really uh, resonate with me in a good way there's like no improvement with her vocals it just sounds corny and cheesy uh, Shadow is disappointing just not really caring for this song it's just a skippable track so 2.5 out of 5 Psychedelic Switch had something going for it but I think Vocally, it's fine. Not great, but it's an okay track for what it went for. So, 3 out of 5. So Right is okay. Don't really hate it so much, just I'm in the middle with it. Carly Rae Jepsen's vocals are good from time to time, and meh from time to time. So, it's in the middle with me. So, 3 out of 5. Come Over is a okay track. Not sure if I'm liking it or not. I'm just in the middle. With this track, like, it's a 3 out of 5 for me. I don't hate it. I just think it's okay. 
but could use improvement. Uh, for, in my opinion, honestly, it could have used improvement. Three out of five. Uh, Put It to Rest is okay. It's probably the last okay track for this album. The last two songs are just boring and disappointing. So, three out of five for Put It to Rest. I think Carly Ray Jepsen's vocals are okay. Not anything mind-blowingly amazing. Just, just not caring for it. Stadium Love is disappointing. Just not feeling for this track with how it sounds mixing wise and Carly Rae Jepsen's vocals don't really resonate with me. So 2.5 out of 5. And finally we get to the last track, Weekend Love. Not a good way to end the album, honestly. It was a bad start and a bad ending. <laughs> so 2.5 out of 5. Um, overall, production, mixing, and execution-wise, didn't really have much to talk about with this album other than the fact that I didn't like it. I was really disappointed with this album, and sorry about the background noise. My brother-in-law is laughing at what my sister said and all that. So, pretty much, for an overall score, I'm giving Carly Rae Jepsen the loveliest time for her new album, a 5 out of 10. It was bad. I was really disappointed, and I'm a little afraid for the next album I'm going to be listening to. Sorry about that hit or whatever. I, my pen hit the laptop for a moment. Uh, I just wasn't really a fan of this album. I was hoping for something good, like for a pop album, but this just really disappointed me, and not in a good way. It's worse than the Post Malone album that I listened to earlier. Like yesterday, I believe. So, 5 out of 10 for Carly Rae Jepsen, The Loveliest Time. Not a good album. I don't recommend it, in my honest opinion. But hey, to each his own. If you like it, more power to you. Just, I'm not a fan of it. So, with that being said, thank you guys for watching.